Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AED744. So today, guys, we'll be doing our Asian Cup Group B and Group C roundup. So we have a lot to go through, guys. So I'm going to make sure you guys get your time's worth. Remember, guys, we're going to keep this around 10 to 15 minutes. Remember, guys, like and subscribe. Got those likes up, guys. I want to see us reach 10 likes. I'm going to keep it short and low. So can we get to 10 likes this video? That would be greatly appreciated. And if, you, uh, if you're all watching this and we made it all the way to the end of the video, please let me know in the comments below. Anyways, enough introductions. We're going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> all right. Australia won. Uzbekistan won. I'm um, going to say this right now. Australia, I'm still yet to be convinced. I'm still yet to be convinced with Australia. And they're going to have to improve significantly if, they, if, I, if you want me to take them seriously. Now, remember, guys, in the tournament, it's about getting the results. It's not really about playing well or making people happy. It's about getting it done. And that's what they did, you know. And for me, we're going to talk about that penalty. For me, that shouldn't have been a penalty. His arm, he slides down. And for me, it's a really, really harsh. I feel like it's a very harsh penalty. His It hits his shoulder, I believe. And it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Upstep their guy, and he scores. Uh, Boyle scored the penalty to make it 1-0. Then Uzbekistan. I don't know what Uzbekistan said in a halftime, but all of a sudden they were taking the game to Australia. They were creating chance after chance. They were the much better team. And you could kind of say this was kind of a game of two halves. And then they finally scored, but it was disallowed. And then they finally got their goal um, given in the second half with a great, great goal uh, coming from the bench from Czernaginovich. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right. And he scored a lovely header there. And Marisho got the assist there. So... Yeah, as you can see right here, guys, um, very, very interesting there. And yeah, I think for Australia, man, very disappointing. Um, Uzbekistan, for me, they created a chance of this game. But ultimately, it's just it's so sad because maybe if that penalty wasn't given, we could have maybe have seen Uzbekistan top the group. That would have been very, very interesting. But, you know, it is what it is. Uzbekistan come through in second place. And Australia tops the group with seven points. They're through to round 16. And yeah, man, so it was back to them, and hard luck to them. I'm very disappointed, but, you know, at least they qualified in second place, you know. At least they qualified, and um, I believe they do play, oh, yeah, I believe they play the Group F runner-up, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they play the Group F runner-up, so that'll be interesting. Uzbekistan versus Thailand, Oman, we'll have to wait and see, man. We'll have to wait and see until Thursday. <clears throat> so yeah, anyways, man, um, very, very good result for, um, good, decent result for Australia. Obviously, they've been more happier of the two teams. But yeah, Australia, man, they, they were holding on to the second half, man. They got to do better than this. And Australia have to significantly improve in the Narcot stage. Because remember, guys, as I said before, guys, you don't want to peak too early in tournaments. You want to build as the tournament goes on. So maybe Australia will get better in the Narcot stage. Time will only tell. Moving on to the other game we got here is Syria 1, India nil. Syria, man, they're finally in the round of 16. For this, after seven times, this is their seventh Asian Cup, and they finally did a number seven, man. And for me, Syria were the much better team on the day. India, for me, were really, really bad. Um, <clears throat> it's not too surprising, to be fair. But I will say that India did improve defensively. They did improve significantly defensively compared to their game against Uzbekistan. But at the same time, though, Syria isn't really a team that is very clinical. They don't really score a lot of goals. So... I don't really know if I should give too much credit to India on the day. Because for me, India on the day were very poor. They didn't really do anything. They were just fouling. There was this one big foul that I believe one of the players did. I think it was Becky. Yeah, Beck did on Weiss. And Weiss got a yellow card. There was a big altercation. But you can see in the first half, man, India only had one charge. Or I believe that was the early chance they had. And then the second half, man, Syria finally scored, man. A very, very nice goal there. India didn't create thing. And they were so sloppy to defending. The defending for that goal was abysmal. And Syria could have wrapped this game up, man. Syria could have wrapped this, made it 2-0. Um, they could have wrapped this up, but you know it is what it is. And Kurban, man, comes off the bench, scores a goal to put Syria in the round of 16. And remember, guys, if Syria did not win this game, they wouldn't be in the round of 16. So Syria, man, that was a huge, huge goal. They advanced to one of the best third-place teams, and so shout out to them. As for India, man, uh, Igor Stimic, man, is he going to get sacked? We'll have to wait and see, man, because India are going to have to improve significantly because... Their defense was good. Their midfield was right. But the fact they couldn't score a single goal across the three games is simply abysmal. Things have to change for India. They have to get. They have to figure out something now because, for me, it's not working out. They, they, if we're gonna for the next Asian Cup, they're gonna need to incorporate. They're gonna need to get get more players that can play better because this is simply an abysmal. Hasir man with the assist there, 
Mandia, I thought it was decent on the day. Sandhu, I thought it was decent. And yeah, for India, man, as I said, defensively not too bad. Fullbacks, though, was pretty bad, in my opinion. Um, but their center backs partnership was decent. But yeah, I mean, that attack just didn't work, man. Only one shot on target it is, is really bad. They're really bad. Moving on to Hong Kong nil, Palestine three. Shout out to Palestine, man. They finally make it to the round of 16. And this is the first time they've ever won a game in the Asian Cup history. So shout out to Palestine. They finally did it and they qualified to round of 16. I believe this is their third attempt. Yeah, I think so. The third attempt. You guys can correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. And they were just fantastic. Daba was fantastic on the day. He was running through the team. Fantastic. Scored those two goals. You know, scored the first goal. Lovely, lovely um, assist there from uh, Batat, the left back. I'm uh, sorry, the right back. Uh, then um, the second goal was scored by Quinn Bayer. Uh, great, great goal there. And the third goal, I believe, was a rebound. Quinn Bayer scored a nice goal there. And yeah, Hong Kong just defensively were just abysmal. They were just really, really bad in the day. Uh, didn't really um, offer anything. And they were just so bad defensively. They were just really bad. Um, they did get a penalty throw right in the second half, you know, to uh, get a consolation goal. But um, it was actually hit the post. It hit the crossbar. So, and Palestine, man, they did. They got a 3-0 no win. And guys, Palestine, oh, at one point, were actually second in this group, guys. Uh, we'll get to why they didn't get second place in a bit. But, yeah, I mean, for Palestine, man, this is incredible for them. Ha I'm happy for them, man. They were the much better team throughout the day. And it's going to be interesting, guys, because I think Palestine's a team that's on the rise. Because, like I said, defensively, they're actually pretty good. But they just have to be better in the final third. That's kind of like my one big criticism I have. And Hong Kong, as we established, might um, just couldn't compete, man. They just couldn't compete on the day. And Palestine, they they routinely won this game comfortably, 3-0. All right. And then the final game we got here is Iran 2, UEE 1. Iran, man, they finally, finally put out a convincing win. This was a very dominant win from Iran. I was very, very impressed with Iran. I thought Iran were fantastic on the day. They were um, amazing. Azmoon and Tarami finally linked up. And this is why this is what I'm trying to see, guys. I think Iran are looking solid, and you can see how um, Asmund really does bring a huge introduction to this team. I think Asmund is so important to this team. Without Asmund, Taremi is not going to be that guy. So I'm really glad to see Iran actually change. There's no Cheshmi there. There's I think there's that I forgot the right back's name. Let me see if I can remember the name. Uh, Rizon didn't start, which I thought was great. And so you see Iran just looking really composed. As for UE, they were pretty bad on the day, to be honest with you. I thought that for most of the game, they were not great. Uh, they were very, very underwhelming. Uh, that being said, though, they did kind of raise their game in the second half and, you know, put out a much better performance. But like I said, man, UE didn't put out their best team. You know, Ali Bakbud, one of the best players, didn't start. And I believe um, some other big players, they didn't start. I don't really remember the name of the time ahead. But yeah, for Iran, man, fantastic. That first goal, man, from Azmu, man. What in a pass that is for Mehdi Taremi. Mehdi Taremi scores. And I believe one of the center, I believe this guy. Yeah, he made an error for one of the goals. I forgot which one it was. Um, is is either the first, I think it might have been the first goal. I think it might have been the first goal. And the second goal, man, was scored by, um, then there was a penalty. There was a penalty appeal for UE. UE has a penalty to take. And I believe who took him down? I think it was, I forgot who exactly gave it away. Was it Gady? I think, uh, let me see if I can remember. Or is it, let me check. It might have been the four, Safi. Might have been Safi. Let's see. No, I think it was actually this guy. I think it was actually this guy. Kani. Yeah, yeah. Kani, I think, gave away the penalty. Yes, yes. He gave away penalty. It was a liability on the day. Um, and then up step, the striker. And he actually misses. It was a terrible penalty. Literally took uh, took was way too slow. And Baron read his mind and saved the penalty. Then the second goal, man. Another assess from Osmoon to Tarami. Tarami scores again. Uh, then UE, and then they even had another goal, I believe. To Rem, I think Osmond scored this time. It was disallowed. I think we even Iran even scored another goal. It was disallowed, I believe. And so Iran had I think had two goals disallowed in this game. And the UE finally did score a wonderful effort. Gasani, um, wonderful scur uh, screen, uh, wonderful effort right at the end. And guys, even if, even though the game was it was a consolation goal, it still meant a lot because that goal actually is the reason why they're in second place. Because had he had not scored that goal. UAE would have been in third place. They would have been in third place. So that goal is very, very crucial. And it, it helps out the seeding of the bracket. So for um, Iran, man, they got the huge dub. I think this is amazing. But I think they got to improve specifically because even though they were really great on the day, I do feel like they kind of need to be, they have to make sure they keep their line, players on side. You know, because you can see right here, guys, they had eight shots, one on target. And so that's a bit of concerning. And you can see UAE kind of started to kind of get the better, started to improve in the second half. So, like I said, man, those are my quick thoughts upon the four games. 
you know, we've got around 10 minutes, so I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, whether you guys agree with me, whether you guys agree with me. And of course, remember guys, to on uh, Thursday, we're going to do our live reaction of all the groups. We're also going to preview the round of 16 after the conclusion of Group F game. So I hope I can see you guys then. Remember guys to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.